So welcome to... Alright, let's do this. You must stop denying your own existence. We really suck. You got that right. It's all over. Yesterday we reviewed Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time. If you thought that this was the cheesiest Yu-Gi-Oh! phrase you've ever heard, then you should mute your television when the announcer starts talking. Magical energies, for destiny has chosen him to defend the world from the return of the Shadow Games. I swear, it's like they're trying to drive the viewers away. The movie begins with a brief 12 minute intro. Let's journey together through the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! The introduction comes complete with lame music. One day, his grandfather decided to give Yugi his greatest test to date. The impossible task of assembling a 5,000-year-old artifact known as the Millennium Puzzle. But it wasn't impossible for Yugi. He solved the puzzle. Corny lines and recycled footage from the first 10 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! However, this is completely pointless if you didn't turn on Yu-Gi-Oh! for the first 10 years, then why in the hell would you start now? If you want to watch Trash, there's Teen Mom, 8 Fake Housewives of Nowhere, Is this real Housewives of Detroit? And yes, even Beavis and Butthead is back. Now I know the baby is bumming you out, don't worry, I'll get rid of her. <laughs> That's more than enough crap to waste your life with without putting Yu-Gi-Oh! back on the air. To make this an even less legitimate movie, it's barely even an hour long. That's including the 15 minute intro and the 10 minute credits. That's 25 minutes! 35 minutes of movie? Come on! That's barely an episode. But instead of bashing the brevity, I should probably consider it an act of mercy. The actual content includes a masked man stealing the three most powerful cards to save his world because he believed that Yu-Gi-Oh cards <laughs> caused his planet to fall into ruin. I finally began to see, see why things had ended this way. And the answer was dual monsters. How he plans to do this is by destroying the world, if you think that makes any sense at all. Although, you can't blame him. This has been Yu -Gi the Yu-Gi-Oh! story since Season 1. When he fended off the depraved Sartorius, who wanted to turn the world into mindless zombies. Hey, Neos! Let's save the universe, shall we? Although, there's a bit of irony when the villain bash <laughs> bashes on the heroes for playing a children's card game. I've realized something about this game you love so, this duel monster. The world would be a far better place without it. Then challenging them to a card game. I think it's fitting to destroy the three of you with the very cards that you're trying to save. What? <laughs> to further piss me off, they don't actually duel. Just as Yugi, Jaden, and I are combining our might, these three have now combined theirs. The three heroes and the masked dude chuck cards at each other until the heroes win. Surprise, surprise. The resolution includes Pegasus doing his best Michael Jackson impression. It certainly must be a dream come true for you all to be so close to me. <laughs> and the heroes hopping a ride with Doc Brown back to the future. Who needs a DeLorean when you got one of these? What happened to the masked villain in his time period? Who knows? And apparently, four kids doesn't care. We don't care about your backstory, we just care about keeping our world safe. That's why they've gotten the prestigious reputation for being the best production company. At screwing up animes. I mean, someone's gotta be number one. With bad writing, music, and overall concept, this project was doomed before action with Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged. Being drastically better than the current Yu-Gi-Oh! products offered, they need to seriously consider bringing some of those writers on board with the real show. If you're already a laughingstock footage of anime, <laughs> you, might, you might as well 
work at being the funniest piece of crap anime on this side of the Pacific. But when the odds were against you, say, he always kicked things into overdrive. He had to steer through some hard times, but one thing was for sure. When Yusei was in the driver's seat, you knew the next stop was victory.